Hey everybody, Justin Doman here with Elite Audio, Video, and Lighting. We're on episode 6 of our vlog series where I walk projects, talk technology, and look at fun stuff. So today is rack delivery day and we're going to kind of take a quick look at this one and see it before it goes out and gets connected to the house and kind of describe what some of the individual components are. So if you ever wanted to know what everything does in a big smart home rack, here's your chance. So, coming up here at the top, this is a AC Infinity fan. It has three vents. This will be contained and all the air will be forced up and out to the very top on both sides to keep this thing nice and cool. We got several fans in this bad boy to push and pull air. Um, so you'll kind of see those as we go through. The next piece of gear is our CA-10. This is the workhorse of our project. Uh, super fast processor, reliable. Um, we also got a Core 5 over here. That's also a processor, but we have it set to audio and Zigbee mode. Um, the CA-10 doesn't do anything with Zigbee or audio, so it's only the big supercomputer behind the scenes. So the Core 5 does all the audio processing, as well as talks to all the light switches and does the little things in the system to keep this thing lighting fast whenever you're pushing remote buttons or doing anything with the lighting. So just below that, we got our Luma 220 8 channel or 16 channel NVR. This is our camera processor. So all of our cameras plug into our network switch, get on the network, and then this processes all the information, gives you a pretty little app, or lets you see it from Control 4. Coming over here, we got our PackEdge RK1 router. Um, it's a workhorse. Um, there's some newer technologies out there with 2.5 gig and 5 gig, but this thing here, um, it's super reliable. I know that if I put it in this rack with, you know, 100 to 200 devices on the network, it's never gonna have any issues, and I'm always gonna be having happy clients. So we'll see what happens in the future when these technologies become more useful with the devices we have. But right now, this thing will last for another three to five years without any issues. Each rack has its own network switch that just plugs into all the devices up and down. Um, with plenty of room for expandability on each rack. We've got our watt box surge protection. These will make sure that all of our gear surge free and also allows us to put the entire rack into OVRC and remote reboot any of these pieces of gear that may ever get hung up. We can also program them to basically use the internet so if uh, it pings devices and it doesn't get a ping back from let's say Amazon or a Google server or you know 1.1.1.1 it will automatically reboot the rack or that piece of gear if we tell it to ping say that Anthem receiver and it doesn't respond so a lot of times when we have service calls and stuff like that we actually can fix things before you even know they're broken got another fan up above this receiver to pull all that air up and off this here is a pretty cool little device um, it's an 80 Pro Matrix, uh, but we're not actually going to use it as a matrix in this situation. Um, we're going to turn it into just an audio input and output. We've got eight inputs there, and our RCA is leaving right there. And what that's going to do is allow us to backfeed all of the audio from the televisions back to this little piece to then go into that. So let's say guest bathroom, not bathroom, sorry, the guest bedroom or the outdoor patio, um, any of the zones that uses overhead, you know, in ceiling speakers, the audio gets returned to here, and then we have it pumped right to there, and then it gets pumped to there, and then it gets pumped to the speakers. So it's a pretty cool device. Um, before we used to stack um, six, seven, eight audio returns into a rack, and it was never very pretty, so we're kind of excited to start to use these pieces by AV Pro. We've had nothing but good luck from the AV Pro stuff in the past, so excited to see how it works in our system. Uh, coming down here, this is our main matrix. It's 24 inputs, 24 outputs. So everything audio wise gets pumped into here and then it gets routed to the amplifiers down below. Coming on over, we've got our big bad Anthem MRX receivers. We have one for the living room and we have one for the media room they have power for days 
also use ARC technology so we can uh, put a nice mic in that listening position. I think it does five or six positions and gets everything calibrated much better than, let's say, you know, a, a Yamaha mic or any of the other little stuff. It comes with a big beefy microphone and the sound output on these things is next level good. Coming down here, we got our Anthem MDX matrix amplifiers. Um, we have the matrixing turned off. We have them only as dummy amps. We use them with Paradigm speakers. We have all the DSP presets put into them. So it makes our speakers with these amps sound really, really good. So just going into a regular six channel amp just didn't make sense for us whenever we make a house sound that much better because we'll be able to do the DSP, pre DSP presets and go through and run our technology uh, from our phone or our laptop and do room correction for every single zone, which is really, really cool. Coming down here, we got another AC Infinity fan. I'm just getting some of that air off of these general audio amplifiers um, that are right below. This is the um, game room amp. That's the garage room. Yes, I say garage room. We got two subs in the garage, two subs in the living room. Um, so what that will do is the subwoofer that's installed into the wall wires back to here and this plugs into it coming down here we got our origin acoustics dsp 3700 um, that bad boy will pump all of the sound to our outdoor landscape system um, we got two james audio bollard speakers and a sub and then we got a fan pulling air from the bottom of the rack and starting to push it up so fresh air just goes all the way up the rack same thing here, we got a back watt box, battery backup, um, that will just make sure our crucial devices are kept online, such as the router, the network switch, maybe the CA-10, and then we got another fan down below. So now, turn these things around. Get everything wired up. <clears throat> ready for our speaker connections and our cat cables to wire into that bad boy and those so come tomorrow these will all be outfitted we'll have a trunk wire right there right there coming down from above Boop. into the amps everything's going to be super clean we got our planet, planet Wave cable tips already set into the receivers, ready to go. Our Planet Wave cables here, gold tipped RCAs coming down. More gold tips. Look how pretty this rack is. This thing is looks good. Got our cords, 48 gig HDMIs. The fit and finish on these things are really, really nice. I've been impressed with them so far. We got two Roku Ultras down here to feed the two surround sounds. But yeah, we got some cool stuff going in today, guys. Um, probably make another video a little later today, walking through the house on what's going on, but stay tuned.